Computers have had a transformative impact on what historians do and the kinds of questions that we can ask. Let me go back to the shipping industry for a moment. Before the 1970s, if you were studying maritime history, as it was called, or the history of shipping or shipbuilding, you would focus on a particular shipping company or a ship owner, or maybe, if you were very ambitious, a particular ship owning town, such as Liverpool in England or St. John, New Brunswick in Canada. But you could then answer questions only about that particular merchant owner or the shipping firm or that particular ship building or ship owning town. What computers allowed us to do was to ask questions and to answer questions about entire shipping industries. It allowed us to take the enormous voluminous records that exist for the British Empire for all of its shipping and to study the, the, the ships, where they were built, the shipbuilding industry, the owners of the ships, the investment patterns over time, the labor force over time in an entire industry, the fourth largest merchant marine in the world. And so to ask big questions like why did this industry rise and then why did it decline? That was something, and my favorite example, of what was enabled by computing when it's applied to historical documentation. And of course today there are many, many other examples. And computing technology has allowed us to do, uh, to ask questions hitherto unasked or not even thought of by historians even a generation ago. Another example is the way in which computing technology can be applied to uh, textual matter, to documents, to, you know, very sophisticated textual, textual analysis so that we can do analyses of the content of documents in a way, uh, analyzing their contents, the discourse within documents, but also analyzing that within a very, very large volume of documents, correspondence, government documents, legal documents, whatever it may be. So computing technology is transforming the discipline of history and it's still doing that, of course. We're living through this change and, you know, it's often very hard to see where the end may be uh, to something that we're actually living through in our own time. It presents enormous challenges and opportunities for historians but also for history students. Uh, if I was a young history student today, if I was starting off as a historian, I would certainly equip myself with some understanding of computing software, computing applications for historians, because there really is a future uh, in that intersection of the technology with the historian's sources and historian's questions.